Welcome back to MMG. Today was a wild day. So was yesterday. Alright. First of all, not financial advice. Consult your licensed financial advisor before doing anything. Stocks, equities, extremely volatile, extremely risky. Do not invest anything you're not willing to lose or lose sleep over. And uh, have your emotions out. Stops in place. Alright. Markets sold off today. As I said, they would. And this is not Bitcoin. This is not Tesla. This is gold. And it's moved up. I mean, these are spectacular moves. You guys need to understand when gold goes up like 50 bucks. Your mining stocks could go up double digits or triple digits, like hundreds of percent. Some have done that. Uh, most have not yet. Not yet. But uh, they will. And the, oppor the window of opportunity is uh, it's closing. So let's take a ruler. In three days, it's moved up. About 3%. About $47. That's huge. In the past six days of trading, or let's do seven days. Not exactly a week, right? But... Because the weekends don't count. It has moved up. $86. 5.5% for gold. <clears throat> That's huge. $86. So, I mean, it's happening. Nobody should should be surprised right i've been telling you guys this would happen now i've been saying the black swan thing since january 20th uh in the private group everywhere all like in the groups january 18th so over a month now and just now people are starting to say the same thing maybe yeah some alternative people have started saying it like last week or whatever anyways so that has come true. Um, the market is finally starting to price in the real risk. Uh, the consciousness is changing because people are starting to, because it's not going away, right? This uh, COV, this, uh, the sniffles are not going away, are they? I told you guys it's going to continue to spread globally. And it is, and it will continue, and it will accelerate. And the more it does, the more this bubble pops. Now, later on, they're going to, you know, come out, the PPT, and they're going to print money. But I don't care, because even if it puts in the bottom, or it won't let the market correct more than, like, who knows, 15, 20, 30%, whatever, um... 
there will be you know it's going to be volatile there will will be dead cat bounces and uh bull traps and rebounds uh to to equities right but as of right now uh it just started so some people were smart enough to not hold tech stocks uh you know and growth stocks and unicorns over the weekend a, f a small percentage were smart enough to do to take profit before the weekend but majority are still holding all right so i'm going to talk a little bit about some news events again then we'll uh look at some charts uh here's here here's the deal a lot of people are signing up and because the price is so cheap uh I, I'm worried inexperienced people are signing up because I, you know, having a price tar a price at like 300 bucks keeps, keeps uh, people from joining up who don't really have money to invest and to play in the stock market with. Like if you don't have, if you don't have money, you're willing to lose, then you're not supposed to be trading or investing. And it was a nice barrier to keep inexperienced people out. And I might have lowered the price too much because a lot of them are coming in. Also, as prices of metals keep rising and rising, once these uh, mining stocks really explode, and they haven't yet, but it could happen next week, um, I'm just going to close the private group because I don't want Taurus and uh, FOMO buyers coming in at the last minute and you know what always happens they for some reason they wait till the last minute until they see everyone else making a ton of money and then they come in and then they buy at the intermediate peak and then it pulls back and then they get emotional and they lose it and then they sell <laughs> and then it goes right back up um and i don't want those i don't want to deal with those people uh <clears throat> so i'm gonna have to close it and I warned you guys for months that I, I would do that. The time to buy was beginning of last year, two years ago. All right. But, you know, no one listens to me when I tell them to. Um, or when I don't tell you anything, but when I give you guys my opinion and the possibilities, people, uh, for some reason, I don't know. They chose their lives. All right, so go to my website, and this deal ends Sunday. Just add it to the cart. Click on it. It's normally 300 which is also a discount from 500 You add to cart. And for some reason, some people can't figure this out. If you can't figure this out, you, if you can't follow directions like this simple, do not join. It's not for you. All right, here's the directions to get into the private group. Here's one. Here's my last video, right? Like, here's the here's the description section. Here's the sixty percent discount link. Click on that. It's the only way you'll get the discount. Now, obviously, I really shouldn't have to do this, but I'm just going to do it for now because um, I don't want to deal with people. But honestly, if you can't do this, then this isn't for you anyways. Read all the disclaimers. You have to click yes. You have to read them and the uh, terms and conditions. You, you have to click apply discount code. It's right here. And then you check out. It's that simple. The next day, you will get an email. And you follow the directions on there too. And then I add you, I'll give you the links to the private group. But honestly, guys, it's only for people who have money to uh, risk. And... Um, have at least some experience trading honestly i don't want to deal with a bunch of noobs uh, 
it's only ten dollars a month. Like I'm not gonna I'm not your private secretary. Alright. So let's go to the newsroom. So there's a lot of people who like always just go into one of the chat groups, but none of them go into the newsroom. And then they the next day they post things that I've already posted in the newsroom and it's really annoying. Also the links in there too. Go in the newsroom if you're going to join the groups. So, uh, the title's different on this when you post it. It's because of uh, censorship or whatnot. Listen, CDC warns COV coming to U.S. Tremendous public health threat. It's a good article. If we look at these, well, hold on. Uh, China key manufacturers ramp up output output but that's if you actually read the article that's exactly they're trying to do that but they can't because every time someone gets they open up the plant there's going to be people who have it and then they have to literally quarantine the people in the plant or remove them and then you know it's a mess and other countries around the world are no longer uh, they're looking for alternatives already world must act fast to contain the cov and that came out of geneva like the number one health facility for the w i don't want to say it for the who um what else stock market finally is um considering the long-term implications of uh the entire supply chain being shut down and um and now there's a bunch of strategists coming out they're saying the markets have peaked like they're freaking brilliant right i told you i gave you guys like a two to three month warning that it's going to peak soon. I would not chase the last 10%. And that was from S&P uh, 500 at the price level of 3,120. So close enough. Better to be uh, sooner than later, right? <clears throat> uh, existing home sales are falling still. E economic indicators are just weakening uh check this out so the rest of the world this blue line it's trending up and this is logarithmic scale mainland has a uh, flat line but if eventually the, everyone does have to go back to work and when they do that it's gonna just happen all over again but they're gonna probably do that because it's either that, well, they can't keep people locked up forever because you run out of food. Uh, and then um, they have to somehow try to save their economy. Like I said, the combination of the COV and uh, your economy imploding is like an apocalyptic event. <laughs> it's bad. Uh, it's as bad as it gets. Uh, rest of the world, global infection rate. It's starting to trend back up again, but the trend is still up, but it's going back up. So this is outside mainland. Uh, Fatality is going up. Recovered. I mean, it's been going up. We'll see if uh, that, I mean, that has to go up. If it doesn't, then don't worry about anything. Because uh, it's nice knowing you guys. Um, confirmed, that's still going up. Yeah, it's everything's still trending up. Now, listen, and then you have to 10x or 50x these numbers on top of that. So that little intro video, that was scary. But imagine um, 10x those numbers in that video. The line would just keep shooting straight up. Probably couldn't even make a video. It wouldn't look right. Um, what else? Yeah, now they're planning on, you know, digital 
currencies which would trap you in the system they know everything about you they could take as much money as they want they could shut you off they you're trapped in inflation forever i don't think they'll be able to pull this off because by then people are gonna just like i said pitchforks and torture listen the the level of incompetence and negligence is unbelievable. The way uh, your officials, you know, you, and experts are dealing with this, it's unbelievable. I don't want to say like they want to spread it, but I mean, it's it almost it's at that point where it's like they are. And then people are starting to take things into their own hands. Like, if you have it, they won't let you in their town. They won't let you in their country. Stuff like that. So what else news going on? Who narrowing window to contain outbreak? Oh shit. I said that a month ago. But you know, it's, a, it's all about who pays for you. Who, who's been funding you behind closed doors? Yeah, it's just it's just gonna keep getting worse. I mean, I'm not gonna go through all of, all of this. Let's take a look at the markets. Let's take a look at other news. Um, home sales plunging. Inventory inventories are uh, inventories are slumping. So they're they're not making the new home builders. They're not making new homes. They've stopped doing that. Yield curve is completely inverted completely inverted I already talked about that in my last two videos so here's the Baltic Baltic dry index which tracks all of the shipping right uh, global trade the supply chain I mean it's hit rock bottom guys it has hit rock bottom it's rock bottom last time it was down here was in a uh, late 2000 or early 2016 and then at the peak of the global financial crisis and yeah and then in the 80s right <clears throat> so i mean the writing's on the wall i don't know who would hold over the weekend or who would buy the dip on equities and fang stocks and tech stocks whatever this is weird. I mean, I keep looking at this, but it doesn't change much, and it's not really tracking things accurately. Let's just say it's way worse. Iran is the next big country, and the population of Iran is huge. Um, I don't know how dense, but it's a big one. So, yeah. I guarantee you in the U.S., there's way more. They're just not talking about it. That's how you know it's serious. Also, Europe. And, oh yeah, in the test kits, like, half time they don't work right. And now there's reports of people getting it a second time around. And honestly, I haven't seen any evidence or anything saying that once your symptoms are gone and do you still just have it in you? And you could still later have an outbreak and then just spread it more? Or are you do you have it for life? <laughs> I, I don't think... Any, nobody knows the answers to these, but that would be um, very important to know, I believe. Here's the markets. A little bit of a dip. Nothing too crazy, though. Let's look at the dollar real quick. Now, remember, gold and silver is breaking out huge moves. Silver hasn't really broken out all that much, but it will. It'll break the manipulation soon enough. Um, and companies are going to have to buy it. They're going to have to hoard it to be able to function later on if they want to, you know, uh, have a future. That's what I would do if I was a tech company. Anyways, uh, there's a cup and handle, which is bullish for the dollar and I expect it to break out even higher it, it's almost hit the hundred handle which is huge huge and uh, you know the dollar index is uh, weighted against other fiat currencies now as the world becomes a more crazy and risky place and it will 
um, more and more people are going to sell and go into cash, which is the dollar, meaning demand for the dollar is going to go up. And then um, the dollar is going to just keep rallying as a sort of a knee-jerk safe haven reaction. But the fact that gold and silver is going up with the dollar, it's a huge indication that the black swan correction is here and it's it's about to happen. Uh, smart money's buying, right? And um, th that just shows you how bullish and powerful metals are right now. Here's uh, the NASDAQ. And my TA was spot on. And that's just for the stuff I show you guys in videos. I have private videos and private calls in the private group for demonstrative purposes of me, how I trade and stuff. And um, my all of my trades are green. They're doing great. Like, great. So, um, this is a weekly chart of, of the NASDAQ. It's on the 9 cell. TDI is real great indicator. And, um... Yeah, 1 to 4 to 9, maybe even a 13. At least a 9. Pullback. Correction, not pullback. And uh, that's... It, it, it's not just it should happen because it's a healthy thing to happen, but just the mixture of everything going on is unbelievable that, unbelievable that it didn't happen two weeks ago, honestly. So... But the algos, that's why. It's because there's too many computers trading. And, you know, computers aren't paying attention. One of the guys in the comment section said that on my last video. Which is, he's absolutely right. Uh, a revert to the mean back to the 200-week moving average would not surprise me. And that's a huge drop. A lot of, a lot of money to be made. These are, like, the biggest opportunities ever. Like, life-changing kind. Especially for experienced uh, traders. Here's the FANG index it's on a seven count, but it's already you know losing momentum. Probably won't even make it to a nine count on the daily here. It has a long way to drop, guys. On the daily, even on the daily. Back to my blue line, equilibrium reverts to the mean, twenty seven hundred. Here's Apple. Here's all of your trillion dollar companies. They just started correcting, guys. Like nothing. But right now, it's not even a correction or anything. It's just a dip. And metals went up that much. And short positions are, you know, depends if it's leveraged or it's an option or whatever. They're really in the green. With, well, if you got the timing right, right? I got the timing right. Like very, very perfectly right. Um... Not that I'm always going to be able to do this. I'm all, there's going to be a time I'm going to be really, really wrong. And uh, there's no way you could always be right. Uh, a part of trading is having a nice ratio of wrong trades and right trades. If you have a 70% ratio, you're like a god. That means 30% of the time you're wrong. So 30% of your trades are going to lose you money. 70% make you money, right? That's why I cut my losers short, let my winners ride, and the, the winners pay for the losses and then some when it comes to trading. That's my strategy. <clears throat> Russell 2000 is actually holding up the best, even though it's never made new all-time highs or anything. That's because it's domestic stocks. So when you look at the FANG, in the, the FANG index, those are internationals. All of their products are made in uh, China, right? So they're going to suffer first. And the domestic companies are going to... as There's rotational investing. So you get out of one sector, go to another. So if you get out of the internationals, go to the domestic companies. That's sector rotation. And uh, that's what the Russell is... That's why it's going up. It's, it, why the, it's the only indice going up. But this probably won't last for the Russell either. It once... Um, the COV starts breaking out in the U.S., right? It's going to hurt everyone. Um, 
including mining stocks eventually. I just hope this thing could hold off and the heat could slow it down so we can make it through summer without like, I don't know, you know, Mad Max scenario. Um, here's financials. They're starting to get hit. By the way, there's a run on the banks in China right now happening. There's a video, video in my newsroom. Uh, here's the transports. This should be much lower, but, you know. Once it breaks this support at about 10,100, 200, down she goes. I'll take the rest of the market with it. Here's the FANG index, the weekly. It's on the 9 cell, like I said in my last video. And it's, it's just starting to be priced in. If you go to the daily, it's on a 7 count, just like, yeah, so... Now here's the thing, uh, gold is on a 9 sell for the daily, but it might be ignored, especially if the market's open Monday and sell off. So it, it all depends this weekend what comes out in the news. So maybe we'll get a little bit of a dip because it's ran up extremely um, Monday and Tuesday for metals and then you know the markets sort of trade sideways or bounce a little bit. And then again, coming Wednesday and Thursday, sell off again. This is kind of, um, you know, or this is actually normal in the markets because a lot of people don't like holding over the weekend. Uh, but you know what? You never know what could happen over the weekend. I'll keep uh, the private group members updated, TA wise. Silver, look at this. <laughs> Silver is being manipulated, guys. This is how they're keeping a cap on gold, by manipulating silver. When this breaks, when it breaks on silver, I'm telling you, you're going to see moves you won't believe. Now here's the thing. Uh, the mining stocks, they're, every quarter you get earnings reports, right? And they're just going to be better and better and better. And the balance sheets are just going to, fix themselves well not fix themselves but they're going to look better and better and it's pretty obvious that gold silver and the mining stocks is is going into a bull market and more and more of wall street's going to rotate into a uh, sector rotation right into the mining sector and uh as soon as that happens which will i'm assuming assuming it should happen once equity sell off then we'll get a nice few weeks and months of some major moves in the, the mining sector. Now, is it guaranteed? No, because I don't know how fast the COV thing is going to really... I don't know how fast it's going to spread and then play out. So it's not going to be easy and it's risky. But, you know, um, if if it comes to it, you, you the opportunities are still there when it comes to shorting, possibly. Hopefully the warm weather and things will work out in the next few months, at least going into summer. So here's the mining ETFs exploded higher, just exploded. Look at these moves. Don't mind this one. That's an inverse. Beautiful. Look at these moves in the past four days. Huge moves. All right. So here's some more mining ETFs just exploding higher. All right, let's talk about Bitcoin. Bitcoin, come on, load. There we go. You know, these are just dead cat bounces. This is a bull trap right here. This is a four hourly chart. I still expect it to, um, 6,500 wouldn't surprise me in the next few months. We'll see. I'll keep you guys updated in the newsroom about that. But for now, I'm, so, I, I, I'm still bearish on it. Uh, what else? Let's take a look at the world. Oh, China just printed 5 trillion yuan, 
That's like 140 some billion in US dollars valuation. That's a lot. Just just willy nilly one day. The, a few days ago they did the same thing again and again. This is going to cause I I mean it's not really holding up their market anymore, right? In the end, it's just going to cause massive inflation, which they're going to have inflation anyways because people need to buy things and they're going to hoard everything because supplies keep dwindling as less and less people work. And then it's bad. It's going to be bad for them. I, I feel sorry for the people there, honestly. And, and, you know, the worst feeling in the world would be to be in that scenario with over 1.4 billion people. Just imagine the crowds, the riots, the herd. Oh, man. Horrible. So, and you know what? I, if it gets that bad in India as well. Like, I, I, guys, it's just... I really wish we had, um, you know, these global authoritarian uh, entities that are supposed to be there to protect us and to do the right things and to warn us. They're not doing any of that. That's all I have to say. And uh, I hope the repercussions, once all this blows over, hopefully it does. Um, I think the control structure, the control system, which is, is uh, everyone's going to lose faith in it. And it's a good thing in the long term. Because there will be no more, there won't be small groups of people telling us how to think and live. Though if the entire system burns down, then well, at least we'll have freedom in the end for us that you know make it. So, it's my it's my rant. All right, guys. Uh, see you guys in the chat groups. Go to my website. Take advantage of the offer. I'm gonna end it Sunday, and um, I don't know if if mining stocks keep rallying and so does. Uh, metals i'm gonna close the doors to the private group because i don't need too many people in there it's hard to manage and that's pretty much it all right guys uh leave anything in the comment section if you know you have a a good comment i'll i'll comment back and um i do read all of them and uh sh please share my videos it's the only way, only way my channel grows and uh smash them likes till next time